Hey, what is up you guys? So, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I asked my Instagram followers kind of what I should do today for my face. As you can tell, no makeup. So basically, I just put up a bunch of polls on my Instagram story, and I just asked people what I should do with my makeup. So that's pretty self-explanatory for the video name. So on the first question to this poll was, which primer should I wear? Smashbox or Fenty? 61% said Fenty, so I'm going to be putting on Fenty primer. So this is what we're dealing with. It's the Fenty Pro Filter Primer. I've used this like 30 million times in my videos. And we're going to put that shit everywhere. Because I'm not going to be greasy today. Okay, and this part wasn't part of the polls, but I'm just gonna quickly color correct just because, like, I really need to, so I'll be right back. Okay, sisters, so this is my face color corrected. So now I'm gonna go on with my foundation, but I got the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. This one's 210. I kind of, like, go back and forth between 170, 190, 210. It just kind of, like, depends, like, if I'm dark or not because my skin tone changes so much and it's really annoying. So right now, I should be 210 still. Because I was 210 a few weeks ago, so I should still be. So just cake that on. Ladies and gents, please never forget to do your neck. Like, just never forget, please. And, like, a tip I have when it comes to blending onto my neck, because some people, like, well, like me, you'll blend it all the way down to your neck, but then you'll realize it just, like, cuts off weird. Like, if that makes any sense. And you can see the line even though you blended it. So what I do is at the top of my neck, I have more product and then it slowly fades. Like from like here I had more product and then I put like very little here and I blend it downward. And then it just kind of like goes into my skin tone because my face is a different skin tone than my body. So I try to match my foundation with my body. So yeah. Okay, so I got my foundation on, so the next thing is I asked if I should contour or not contour. 83% said contour. Good choice. So first of all, I'm going to conceal and highlight my face with my NARS concealer in 2.5. So I'm just going to go under my eyes and on my forehead, can she tiny or whatever. Then I'm going to use my Mocha Matchsticks from Fenty and I'm going to use it to contour. And when I contour, I like to do my cheekbones, even though I don't have cheekbones, so I just kind of mix them. And then I do right here, like, I give myself a hail mitt. My double chin, she gets a little chiseled. And my nose. And I actually normally don't use the matchsticks. I usually just use bronzer because I'm super fucking lazy. So... No, I'm actually contouring today. You're welcome. Okay, so I blended all that in. And because I always feel like when I contour, I don't do enough. I'm just going to go in with my Too Faced bronzer. And I'm just going to, like, go over pretty much everything where I did my contour. Creating depth in my face is so important because I have literally no face structure. Because I have such, like, a round baby face. I, like, need structure because it's just, like fat you know all right so i just baked my face as you can see i got powder i have loose setting powder on so i'm gonna let my face bake and with that i'm gonna do my eyebrows okay so for the next poll i asked if i should do instagram brows or simple brows by instagram brows i mean like the really like dramatic you know you know what i mean and then by simple brows not really just like not do my eyebrows but just like not Try as hard, just make them look natural instead of like Instagram, MUA style. So, 60% said to do the Instagram brows, so that's what we're gonna do. So, I got my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade Medium Brown, and we're gonna fill these bad boys in. I'm just gonna show you guys one eyebrow because you've seen me do my makeup hundreds of times, so I'm just gonna do one and get it done, and then do the other one off camera just so we don't take too much time on my eyebrows. <coughs> Okay, bless me. Okay, so I'm just brushing up my eyebrow. This is my good eyebrow, so I'm just doing that one in case I mess up on the other one. Instagram brows, they're supposed to be a little, like, you know, they're supposed to be sleek or whatever. So this one, I can go a little bit out of the box. Okay, I'm going to put a lot of arch into this one. Sister is going to arch. Okay, so sister's eyebrow is filled in. She looks fake. She looks drawn on. That's the look we're going for, pretty much. 
Okay, so I'm gonna finish my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. So I'm gonna dust this coke off my face. So the next poll I asked was pink blush or orange blush. And before you get weirded out at pink or orange, let me just show you. Pink, orange. Simple. Seventy-eight percent of people told me to do pink, so okay, I look healthy and youthful. Go me. Next part of the poll, I asked all metallic slash shimmery or all matte eyeshadow, and sixty percent of you said matte, which actually I thought was kind of interesting because at the beginning of this, shimmery and metallic were winning, so I was kind of like, okay, I have to do an eyeshadow look that's all matte, so no shimmer whatsoever. So I don't know. <laughs> So today I'm pulling out my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my number 21 brush, my BH, and I'm going to use this shade. It's called Silk Cream. I'm just going to put that in my crease and it's going to be like a transition color. So this is a pretty neutral shade. I just don't know what I'm going to do about everything else because I really want like a pop of color. I hate doing like... Neutrals, like, I don't know, because I like to step out of my boundaries. Okay, so I think I have an idea. I'm gonna take this shade, the yellow. It's called Creamsicle, and I'm gonna kind of blend that with the same brush, but more towards, like, the outer corner. Okay, so for the most part, there was pretty much no point in doing the transition color because that pretty much just went all over it, so. So now I'm gonna take this kind of, like, dark red with a hint of orange shade it's called hunts and i'm gonna try to do something with it i don't know what but let me figure something out it's got like a rusty hue to it like a rusty orange i guess okay so that kind of like just went wherever everything else was including on the lid and now i'm gonna take my number 16 brush i'm not sure if i should do this one or the one below you see that one or that one so i'm gonna go with the turquoise shade and that one is called jada so let's see how this goes this is the moment of truth we're gonna see if it goes or not so oh my god all that fallout oh my god okay so it's not too bad but it's still kind of weird looking but i think i can make it work okay so this is interesting right it's a little Interesting, but let me figure out how to like finish this. I'm gonna go back into that yellow we're using. I'm gonna put it underneath and Next I asked eyeliner or no liner 78% said eyeliner So we're doing eyeliner and I have showed you guys a million times how I do my eyeliner It's really simple. So I'm just gonna do it off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my liner done and next question I asked was fake lashes 79% said yes. I'm not really surprised. 79% said yes, because I don't blame you either. Everyone wears lashes now. First things first, though, before I do put on my lashes, I'm going to put a coat of mascara and... Okay, so I got my lashes. They're a little busted. I'm using the bottom ones. I didn't feel like putting them in the correct container. But these are the Kiss lashes. I think they're number 11. They're called, like, Poise or something like that. So I'm going to pop them on. Okay, so both lashes are secured. Next question I asked, which highlight, Fenty or Anastasia Beverly Hills? This one was pretty close. 55% said Fenty. So I thought I'm just going to go in with my favorite. I have to set my face first. I'm going to use my Urban Decay D Slick All Nighter Spray. And I'm actually running low, so like someone either buy me some or remind me to buy some. Or you can just... Buy me one because I'm broke. So this is the brush I use for my highlight. It is number 31 in BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to dip this into Hustler Baby. Some more shimmery shade. And I'm going to highlight these bones. Okay, and the very last question was lipstick or lip gloss? This is very close. 51% gloss. So we're doing gloss. First thing I'm going to do is use my Too Faced Lip Injection. I'm going to use it as like kind of a base to my gloss. 
that and also to make my lips a little bigger. I'm gonna go over this with my Dazzle Glass by MAC. This one is called Moth to Flame. Which is weird because when I bought this I swear that wasn't the name so I really have no clue. So that's a little crazy. This is what it looks like. It's got like um, a peachy orange hue to it. Okay, so we're done. It's the look. Okay, so this is me trying to get close so you guys can see um, my eyes a little bit better. So you can kind of see, I don't know how focused it is, but that's it, so. So my camera's dying, so really quick. If you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Also, leave a comment below and share it with someone you think would like it. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm going to TanaCon this weekend. So, if you see me, come up to me, say hi, I'm making a vlog. You'd probably want to be in it because it's going to be epic. And that is it. I will see you guys next week, and peace out. Cause if you're like